with breaking news. That breaking news coming up short on the bid for the world stage in soccer. And thanks for being with us tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Sheree Palolo. Yeah, I'm Mike Dardis. The highly anticipated announcement happening just a little while ago. The size of our city and stadium made Cincinnati a long shot. And WLWT News 5's John London live at the watch party. Yeah, Kansas City got a bid, John. But as expected, the big dogs, New York, L.A., Philly, Atlanta, all get to run in 2026. Mike, uh, Cincinnati waiting to hear its name called here at the pitch, the bar across from TQL Stadium, and, and that never came. And I can tell you there, there is disappointment here at this location among soccer fans. Here's a couple of them sitting right here that are nodding their heads. Yes, this was supposed to be, you know, the culmination of a six-year effort to nail a World Cup bid. The local organizing committee really felt good about its chances. That's what they expressed to us ever since last October when FIFA came by, toured locations, and toured the city, and local leaders had been expressing confidence about Cincinnati's chances ever since then, the past few months. Cincinnati was up against some heavy competition, as Mike mentioned there just a moment ago. There were some scattered boos when Kansas City was announced. There were audible moans when New York and New Jersey was the last one picked among the American cities. Here's what one big soccer fan had to say about missing up. At the beginning, it felt like you're going up that big hill of a roller coaster. And then the lowest of the low at the very bottom. Oh my God. I thought, I kind of thought we were a lock when I started to see the news crews here. I was like, things are looking up. But I was trying not to get my hopes up too much. And uh, I definitely feel a little let down. I mean. All right, so that was uh, Curtis Jones, one of the. I don't know, 70 or so fans that are here hoping to hear Cincinnati's name announced. We talked with Julie Calvert, president and CEO of the Cincinnati USA Convention and Visitors Bureau earlier today. She told us that if we do miss out at the time we didn't know, missing out doesn't mean we're not still in the game, that we're still going to go after big events, big soccer events, all kinds of events. However, I must tell you that some of the air has gone out of the soccer ball for Cincinnati soccer fans here as a result of FIFA's announcement leaving Cincinnati out of the run. We're live at the pitch. John London, WLWT News 5. John, thank you so much. John London reporting live tonight on the big announcement. And Sheree, last night I text Jeff.